yo what's going on it's blue and today we're coming at you with a quick little video this is just a few things i've learned with uh gizmo in day one it's a few set of few combos and you know confirms and stuff i'm not gonna say kill confirms but you know things that you can rack up damage with now let's start off with the perks first as you know perks are highly you know subjective you, you run what you want to run i would consider this one one of the best maybe this one too but um i i typically use the bounce bounce boom what this does it says gizmos air down special can bounce off of his popcorn and his toy card can detonate them as well power cuddle while attached to his ally gizmos charge attacks charge much faster pretty much you could just use all your charge attacking and you know he barely has it. he has like two so it's pretty cool it's pretty cool and this one is pretty dope too but it's a very situational perk it's called rhythm's gonna get you if gizmo fully stacks music on the enemy instead of silencing them he would cause them to dance and that's basically it gets them to a point where they're charmed kind of where they can't move that's basically what dancing is so it's a pretty good perk but it's very situational so i'm gonna be using the car one of course first things first when it comes to like popcorn and like like zoning play right so as the perk said basically the down special detonates the car and it detonates the popcorn as you can see oh i missed blows up the popcorn and the car so that's pretty good if you ask me for like edge garden and stuff or somebody's like on edge and you got like a popcorn right here or something like that or you know maybe even a car okay i just almost killed myself but boom you know if they're like right here on ledge you hit that real quick boom explosion and one thing i tend to forget about even while playing the character you can shoot the music notes with the arrow and that will send the the music notes to him to give him the basically the dancing or the silence uh cooldown basically so there's a lot of mix-ups you can do with um you know popcorn to music notes and then you know it does a lot of knockback and it can kill at certain percentages when it comes to popcorn it's also good to just you know like a good get them out your face like type of if they're like this close to me i'll use the up up attack with the popcorn and then instantly blow it up like that usually it works like you know they can get them out your face real quick and then if you need to go run away you know hold your arrow boom don't forget that you can also um you can throw it and then if you recover towards the car it does that it ignites it so basically the next time you run into somebody when it's ignited it explodes so one of his best approaches is his forward air of course um i usually like to do forward air into down air if you can get it on time i don't know if it's 100 percent true but i do know it's a good way to start up a combo it's like forward air down air up air let me see if i can get it off or popcorn that works too and then boom see you see how that works you can pretty much get a lot of stuff off of that now down air is a good combo starter as you can see i went down air up attack to up air um that's a good you know 21 damage combo i would say down air up air you can do it twice and then boom recovery recovery pretty much clings on the people that are above you and you can do a lot off of that As you can see, you can literally follow them with the forward air right after. And you know, it, it it goes into a lot of setups. I advise personally using the normal arrow too during combos because it, it gives you good enough knockback to get another hit in while they're in stagger. So see. Most of the time they don't know what to do. Like they don't know how to react to it. The car honestly is a good like combo starter as well. Like you jump out of it, boom. You can literally like jump out of it and then, you know, follow up with a forward air or, you know, with a down air if you could catch him. And that's a confirm too. Now, the umbrella is a good combo ender, especially when they're like, you know, higher damage. I'm gonna put them around 60. No, I'm gonna put them around 70. When they're around this type of damage, most of the time you wanna go for like up air to recovery and then see if you can either follow up with a forward air to side B or just a side B in general. Let me see if I can actually get one to confirm. If they don't dodge. If they don't dodge, then yeah, that's death. That's complete death right there. So his side special, the umbrella, that was a pretty good kill confirm move. It's good at the end of combos too. Um, specifically around the area of like 70 and up. It really depends on the combo. It's good after forward air too, as you can see. It's a really good follow-up move. And if they're at like what? Let me see. I want to say like 100 and something. That should kill. I'm gonna say like 120. I, I was probably not gonna kill on the lab because for some reason when like knockback is a little different on the lab. But. 
I believe that kills. Okay, it doesn't. Well, it kills, but it's the lab, so. So a good combo starter using his down attack is his jab, the down attack, the forward air, or I mean forward air, my bad, up air or popcorn. It don't really matter what you go for. Up air and popcorn are both pretty good. So I would say boom, boom, boom. Or even that, you know, even a double jab. For the most part, that's pretty much like a good little startup combo. The point of this character is really to get people out of your face. So you can be able to properly set up if you want to but you can also you know use his attacks to your advantage to get the upper hand on people because this character is pretty agile personally i highly recommend that you change your settings or you know like just your buttons to a certain thing like you know get your neutral special a separate button or your neutral attack it i just feel like it helps for this character so personally i would recommend doing that like i mentioned earlier if you shoot one of the music notes at him it does quite a little bit of knockback and it gives them like um silence bars or whatever or cooldown even though it doesn't fill up the whole eight you can still use it for like setups and stuff i feel like that's easier than trying to sit around and just use this because as you can see it don't really hit like that but if you shoot it at him much better and then like earlier if you use the popcorn not only do you do knockback but you also fill up the bar like pretty fast his recovery is going to be essential to a lot of combos, especially when it includes down air or up air. His recovery is just too good. As you can see, you can do so many confirms off of his recovery. This character also makes people whiff a lot, especially with the arrow. Like, of course, you only get like a certain amount per cooldown, but it's so essential to his gameplay. Like, I had to realize that midway playing the character. Now, ground pound, which is his down special in the air. It's pretty good, or even using it to start a, a up air. I prefer using it to start the up air because it bounces you above them. If you do it with, if you start off with up air like first, then uh, most of the time you're gonna just hit the ground and then you're gonna end up doing this move. So I would suggest ground pound and lead up into any move. Now, if you want to keep it simple, you can go jab, jab, popcorn, up air. That's an easy combo to do. It's not too hard. You just jab, jab, popcorn, up air. That's it. And if you want to, you know, spice it up, zone them out with some arrows, add some more stuff to it. It's really up to you. Like, it's all how you want to play the character. I believe saving your fire arrow is not only essential to just using it for popcorn, but also, like, sniping people off stage with it. Like that. Because you can stop people from, like, shaggies. Like, you know, you're going to run into a lot of shaggies that spam the kick. And that completely negates it. Completely stops it. Except for, um his like rage kick i wouldn't you know use it unless i was far away i would try to just avoid that at all costs but as i said if you're, somebody's off stage you can usually use the regular arrows or the fire arrow to negate it and then you could go rush them right after because it doesn't really stop your momentum you can keep going right after shooting the arrow so that's pretty much like most of the stuff i've learned with him um forward air to up air shit like that down air to up air up air is a pretty good move to use and the combo enders are always usually the umbrella, his recovery, or his down airs, his spikes. Or his up air, his up air. Up air kills too. But like I said before, make sure you use them arrows in the midst of doing combos because it's going to save you a lot of trouble from taking hits that you don't want to take mid combo. Like, as you can see, the arrow negates the kick and then you can come in with a side air or side special I mean and boom if you guys did watch this video and you, it helped you in some kind of way because I'm not that great at doing tutorials and guides and stuff I'm not that type of person this is my first time doing it so well not first time but like first time in a while um make sure to go tune into my live streams I stream pretty often on Twitch I would say every other day almost every day so you don't want to miss out on those um we be lit in there we be lit in there so yeah follow me on Twitch and uh make sure to leave a like subscribe and let me know what content you guys want to see later on that's it I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Blue out. My love's like a black hole, sun so bright when it burns, so dark when it's done. So hard to relate to one when I find myself tripping off that blunt. Tripping off this blunt, so I might be blunt if I do confront you. Don't run, no, don't run from the black hole, sun. I just pissed a new bitch up in a bubble truck. Uh, Session up to see LA. I put her.